Hello and Happy New Year. My name is Jason Mercer and I'm the Toronto Real Estate Board's Director of Market Analysis. As we turn the page into 2015, I think it's important to take a quick look back on what happened in the residential real estate market in 2014, especially as it relates to transactions reported through the Toronto MLS system. Now the real headline was the fact that we had a near record year for Toronto MLS sales. There were 92,867 sales reported through the Toronto MLS system, and this result represented a 6.7% increase compared to 2013 and was just shy of the record set back in 2007. Now it's not surprising that we experienced an increase in home sales last year. For one thing, the population in the GTA has grown steadily over the past few years. These new households need a place to live, and in many cases, they choose home ownership. Now, of course, home ownership demand has been helped by the fact that very low borrowing costs have remained in place, which have kept monthly mortgage payments manageable despite rising home prices. Now, with all this said, I think it's also important to point out that we would have easily seen a new record for home sales in 2014 if not for the shortage in listings for low-rise home types like singles, semis, and townhomes. So in some communities throughout the GTA, the constrained supply of homes for sale meant that many would-be home buyers simply weren't able to get a deal done on a home. So in other words, many households were fully prepared to purchase a home, but simply couldn't find one. So the lack of supply certainly led to pent-up demand, but it also led to very strong price growth. Competition between buyers in many parts of Toronto and the surrounding regions led to more aggressive offers and an overall increases in home prices, whether we're talking about the average or median selling prices or the MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark. So for example, the average Toronto MLS selling price for all home types combined in the GTA for calendar year 2014 was $566,726. And this represented an increase of 8.4% compared to the average price for 2013. Now the strong price growth experienced last year was certainly driven by the low rise market segments. So again, singles, semis and townhomes where sellers market conditions certainly prevailed within these segments. But at the same time, it's important to point out that we did also see increases in condominium apartment selling prices on a monthly basis throughout most of 2014. And so the thing is, while we've seen record levels of new condominium apartment completions over the last two years, this is not translated into a glut of units available for sale. Yes, the condominium apartment segment is well supplied, but we have seen enough interest for home buyers to exert above inflation increases on condo selling prices over the past year. And so as we move through 2015, there will be a lot to keep an eye on, including the impact of a volatile stock market, oil prices, and of course, interest rates. So I look forward to continuing this discussion with you over the coming months. Thank you very much, and I wish you a prosperous 2015. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.